Now, if you'll excuse me, I will be taking this sorcery right here, the Chaos Fire Whip. And what does the Chaos Fire Whip has for us to read? Let us look at this. Art of the Flame of Chaos, which engulfed the Witch of Isleth and her daughters. Sweep foes with Chaos Fire Whip. The Fire Whip was wielded by the eldest of the Daughters of Chaos. I wonder who that was. Because again, like I said, I'm not that knowledgeable in uh, Dark Souls lore. Mostly because I really appreciate the gameplay and I'm just not that into researching lore. But Dark Souls lore is interesting and it is also one of the reasons why I'm doing this tribute video to Ian B because a lot of the lore that I know from Dark Souls and probably a lot of people came from videos made by Ian B. So yeah. Let's just go ahead, go through here, get... Oh, 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 no, 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 you bastard. How dare you? How damn dare you? Oh, 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 oh. For a second there, I thought I was going to fall down. That would suck. Now, there's an item here. I'm not really going to try to get it, because I always tend to fail and fall down, and I just think it's going to be a waste of time. Anyways, the thing that's there, if I'm not mistaken, is a rare ring of sacrifice. Sorry about your uh, chest there, buddy, but it's kind of things tend to happen when you mess with the con. Now then, let's keep going through here, and what do we have? What else do we have? Not a whole lot. It is time to start coming down the stairs, and ravaging these dudes right here. Come here. If you don't mind, I will slash you open. I will slash you open. And you. And I guess it's your turn now, buddy. There you go. And you as well. I really like the damage this thing does. It's, I love it. I mean, you just go up to people and just like stab them once. This is the typical... Um, this is something that I really like about certain builds in RPGs, which is I'm more of a burst DPS guy when it comes to DPSing. I, I almost always prefer burst DPS, like straight up in your face burst uh, over steady DPS. Even though I know that steady DPS most of the times is better, but for Dark Souls, I really like this type of burst DPS because it's the kind of thing it's like, go ahead, poke your enemy once, and then get the hell out of dodge. You bet. Excuse me. Don't mind if I do buff myself. Not that it has a lot of effect. These guys seem to have like ridiculous amounts of magic resistance, so it only does a little bit more, but I actually should use power within for this guy, but I don't really care enough. I mean, look at the damage. See, this is what I mean. You do your hits and then you get out safely. That's the good aspect of this sword, and that is definitely one of the major things that makes this a really, really good weapon. Superior to a lot of other weapons in Dark Souls. And I wasn't aware of it until I start this playthrough, which made me consider a whole lot of possibilities for new builds. Sorry if it's lagging a little bit, but I'm testing new graphical settings, and yeah, my graphics card is obviously not the best. Now imagine if I was doing this and frapsing, like, <laughs> that would be interesting, right? That would be really interesting. And sorry, I seem to be scratching my nose lots because I have a really itchy nose today for some reason. But anyways, there goes the Demon Titanite. Oh yeah, there's a lizard here. I might want to two-hand your sword for this. Because thrusting attacks is not the best thing to get lizards. So let's just go through here. Hello, good sir, where are you going? Chillax, bro. Chillax, just let it go. And now, to do something that I really, really don't like. But we have to do it. Ah, this is one of the parts of the game that uh, I really, really hate doing. It really costs me to do this section of the game. But yeah.
finally. I have. I have. My Verarian child. I am the son. I've done it. I have. Yes. I did it. I did. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I was just waiting for the dialogue. Oh, my son. It's setting. It's dark. So dark. Sorry, son, bro. Really sorry. And as much as I like Epic Name Bro, I mean, there's something special to be said about the son, bro. And I was actually thinking that as a momentum for killing the Sunbro, maybe we should wear his helmet together with the rest of the armor, because I had not Oh, I can't. Damn it. Sorry, Sunbro. I can't do it. Your helmet's too heavy for me, man. <laughs> I was going to wear the Sunbro helmet, but it seems to be too heavy for this particular build, so... I wanted to honor you, Sunbro. Damn it. I really hate killing the Sunbro. I really do. Come here. Revenge! How dare you kill the Sunbro, you bastards. Oh, Sunlight Metal. I wasn't aware of that. You can actually farm those guys for Sunlight Metals? This is interesting. This is very interesting, indeed. It is very interesting, indeed. Now let's go through here, and looks like we killed everything. Also something that maybe a lot of players don't know, I didn't used to know for the longest time, but this particular uh, Demon Titanite right here, he respawns. I didn't knew that, and I used to sometimes go to New Game Plus to farm more Demon Titanites, not knowing that this one would spawn. I didn't actually research it either. I figured it out once because um, I opened up the uh, shortcut to save the sun, bro, with the... Uh, you know, with the Daughters of Chaos Covenant, I donated the 30 humanities, did the whole nine yards, and once I did all that, I came through the shortcut and I was like, oh, this is convenient. So then I came through the shortcut more than once, and I noticed, hey, wait a minute, I killed you the first time I came through here. What the hell is going on? Uh, okay, this is bad. This is actually really, really bad. It would appear we did not go to Blight Town to have a word with Ziegmeier. Because Ziegmeier was supposed to show up... Is it on this side? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's over here. He's supposed to show up here. And he's not here. So since he's not here, I'm going to have to do a quick jump cut. And I'll see you guys on the flip side. And here he is. Onion Bro himself. Mm -hmm. Oh ho! Excuse me, I was so absorbed in thought I just drifted away. You see, I'm actually in a bit of a fix. I've made it this far, but I'm short on antidote moss for the trip back. Um... By my knighthood, I'm ashamed to ask, but can you spare a few scraps of moss? Fantastic. Thank you. A saint you are. This knight of Katarina expresses his deepest gratitude. I shall not forget this. Please, take this. A symbol of my appreciation. Well, our fates do seem entwined, don't they? Perhaps this, too, is the will of Lord Gwyn. <laughs> the poison swamp, like quicksand in there. Hmm. The poison swamp, like... Hmm. 
And it looks like that's really all he has to say. Now, I actually might have to switch the place that I was going to go. Because I believe that in order to activate the next section of um, Ziegmeier Quest, which is something that I want to complete during this playthrough so that you guys can see it. Because I don't really think I've ever shown it. But it is kind of cool. But anyways... Um, there is uh, a little other step that you have to do to make sure that he gets there, I think. So I'm going to have to do another cut here and I'll see you guys on the flip side. And it looks like I was wrong because um, he's actually already here. I thought that before he showed up here, you would actually have to go and get his daughter from um, Duke's archives, but it doesn't look like it. So what we are going to do is, for starters, I'm going to clean up downstairs, but something that you also want to do is you want to leave one of the Chaos Eaters downstairs alive. The reason for that is you will need him to finish this quest. Now, something I like to do when I'm here is I like to just equip this thing and actually I have a problem which is I still haven't killed the um what do you call it that uh fat guy back in the asylum whoa there as you can see there's three of them and two of the uh, actually there's four of them and three of them will actually come to you. So you want to wait for those three that will come to you. Lead them down the black pit of death. What the hell? Okay, there we go. Drop them in there. The reason why I'm equipping this, you guys should know, is because this is the set that has uh, some of the highest poison resists, I believe. Now let's try and get the other two to come as well. Come here. Oh, seems like they're stuck on the third one. But I do not want to aggro that third one. Which is a damn shame. I might just have to bow them down. Yeah, it looks like that's what we're going to have to do. Usually they tend to three of the three of them just come to me, but it seems that this time they're being a little bit shy. That's fine, though. You want to be shy? Be shy all you want. I'll give you shy. Let's see, do we have the bow? Yes, we do. Do not engage in conversation with him yet. Uh, that is my advice. For starters, you want to make sure that you take down three of those Chaos Eaters and leave only one alive. There we go. Are we able to reach him now? I haven't done this, this section of the game in a while, so I'm sorry if I'm just kind of going around being uh, not very effective at getting in my destination here. There we go. Now then, let's heal up. Let's see. Let's get started working on these guys. Poke. I believe I have large arrows equipped, which is why I'm making so much damage. It's pretty damn sweet, if you ask me. There we go, that's one down. And we're going to be taking this one down as well. Okay, and now only that one over there is left. Now you want to go ahead and talk with him. As usual, sleeping away. I owe you much more than this. 
by the honor of the Knights of Katarina, allow me to assist you. And now, I go. Don't be slow. And down he goes like a good kamikaze minion. Look at him. He doesn't give a damn. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> that dialogue piece over there is just amazing. He's just like raging his face off. I am Zygmar of Katarina, and you shall feel my wrath! <laughs> I think that's really, really cool piece of dialogue they did there for Zygmar of Katarina, and yeah. And the thing is, the very first times I've done this quest, I think in the console I actually just killed everything and I was still able to finish the quest. But uh, according to the wiki, um, you need to let him go ahead and kill one of these guys. Otherwise the quest won't continue. I'm not sure if that's correct or not, but I just did it mostly for the funsies and also to make sure that I can finish the quest. But you, didn't you get away? Well, you saved me once again. Oh, thank goodness. I'm exhausted. I think I'll have a rest. Oh, don't you worry. The ground below me is my pillow. I'll recover. Shortly. <laughs> this guy right here, he's an awesome character in my opinion. Did he actually gave us the ring? I didn't even notice if he gave me the ring or not. Uh, he's supposed to give you the something speckled ring. No, he didn't. That's weird. I wonder if it's not now. Maybe it's at the end of the quest line. Like I said, I don't really remember. It's uh, been a long time since I actually finished this quest line. I just wanted to finish it so that I can show you guys. And this is not the end of the quest line yet. You will see more of Zygmire throughout the um, as as this series plays out. Let's just get the rest of the items that we have from this section. And after that, we'll just homeward bone out of here, back to where we came from. Here's a red titanite slab, which kind of makes sense. I mean, a fire slab in a fiery location seems legit. Makes sense. wonder if I should go back and show you guys the locations of the fire embers. You guys not sure if you guys are interested in that or not, but I might as well do it eventually just to kind of complete the whole series and stuff. But right now we have bigger fish to fry. We're going to be dealing, uh, we're going to be doing the little tango of, um, yes, you know it, we're going to be doing the tango of, God, I hate saying it. Yes, we're going to be doing the friggin' bed of chaos. Actually, I don't have anything else to pick up over here, I believe, so let's just go ahead and use a homeward bone, shall we? Bone. Now let's do some leveling, put a little bit more vitality. Like I said, I want to take vitality at least to 40, and after that, um, for this particular build, I would recommend leveling intelligence all the way to 40, but... Not sure I'm going to take the build that far, because I'm kind of adapting this build into my own, so I'm probably going to only be using this build until the end of this series. Uh, after that, I will probably be making my own version of this build, adapted, con style, uh, and I will show it to you guys. I'm still kind of um, in the size between two possible builds that I want to work this uh, style of play into. But yeah, I, I can't wait to show you guys uh, what, I, what I'm working on, but it's not going to be until this series is over, at least. Now let's go on ahead, we need to equip the orange charred ring, and it is time to run up to the bed of chaos and show it who is boss. And it's obviously not me, but someone has got to be the boss, right? It's obviously not me, but someone is. So what kind of items will we actually be using to the Bed of Chaos? Well, for the Bed of Chaos, my personal recommendation is going to go with Wolf and... Uh, where is it? Warranty. So that you can um, take those hits from the arms and whatnot and 
fast recover your stamina to be able to block another hit, hit if needed be. Let's do this. Better chaos time, guys. And I definitely hope you guys aren't hearing Brad sucks right about now, because that would suck for me. Now, I'm not going to do it the cheap way. I'm not exactly sure if ENB does it the cheap way or not. Um, I'm not going to be doing it the cheap way. I'm going to actually do it the normal way without quitting game. I know that you guys have seen me do it by quitting game. If, if not, NVIDIA, what the hell? There's actually a summon sign here. I thought I saw a summon sign. That would be weird, like... Would someone actually put up a summon sign for Better Chaos? No, no, it just seems weird to me. And we are probably going to be losing this humanity and these 18,000 souls, but it's all in the name of your entertainment, so enjoy. <clears throat> if everybody had a notion across the USA, then everybody be surfing like California. You see them wearing the baggies, and I don't know the rest of the lyrics. A bushy, bushy, bond hair dude, surfing USA. <laughs> yeah, I know I suck at singing, but I didn't really have anything to do for this particular section. I'm sorry, this happens due to the S-Fix sometimes. I don't know what causes it. There might be a specific setting, and by the way, I need... I need to go look up whoever it was that suggested to me that I would change a certain setting in the DS fix, which actually helped me quite a bit with getting rid of that SSAO effect, uh, which was switching something to 540. I don't even remember what it was. I'm sorry. Like I said, not sleeping causes my memory to be a steaming pile of horse shit. So I apologize. Ouch! That was right in the ass, bastard. How dare you. Should I do the jump? I'm gonna do the jump. Fuck this shit. Peace! <laughs> oh! You... Oh, I haven't done this in so long. It's been too long, man. Well, fuck you too, better chaos. If everybody had an ocean across the USA then everybody be surfing like California. Yay. <laughs> I do that all the time when I do this particular section of the game now. It's like, screw everything else, let's go surfing. Let's go surfing now, everybody's learning how to come on a safari with me. Not exactly sure where you're supposed to aim for this particular section. I always get it mi mixed up. I think it's a little bit lower because this is a really good bow. Stop moving around so I can see where the arrow is hitting. Slightly more towards the side. Is this good? I think this is pretty damn close to where it needs to be. Ah, oh, come on. Don't bullshit me and stop moving the screen, damn you. I'm busy trying to kill you with a bow on the left side. Is that still like hitting the thing? Damn it. I think this bow might actually be too good for my own good. Bow too good cannot penetrate defenses. Come on, I'm pretty sure it's on this side. Jeez. Tell me they made an invisible wall out of all that. Like, that would be some bullshit. Oh, I might just have to shoot it from this side, but I'm pretty sure I usually do it on the other side. Whatever. Stop moving the screen. This is really annoying. I need to just turn off screen shaking. There we go. I think this, shot, this ought to do it. And one more, and poke you in the face. Okay, are you kidding me? Come on, hit that damn thing. There we go.
and now it's going to be doubly as upset with us. Better Chaos, you need to take a chill pill. Look at all that fire up in you. Looks like you got a worse case of heartburn than me, buddy. Anyways, let's go through here. Oh, right in the face. Thanks, thanks for that, buddy. Didn't like it, but thanks for that. Anything else you care to send over? Now, it would be really, really nice to go and pick up my souls again. But we might not survive this. You bastard. Ooh. Are we going to be able to pick up our souls? Ouch. You scumbag. If everybody had an ocean across the USA, <laughs> then everybody be surfing like California, yeah. And fuck my souls, you got them bastard boss. I hit you with a fury passion, but you burn my balls. Hit you with a fairy passion, but you burn my balls. <sighs> oh crap, not the fire shit again. There you go, a 500 poke to the face. Better chaos, that's what you get. And yeah, that is the bed of chaos, ladies and gentlemen. I might have lost quite a bit of my pride, but I retained my dignity because I did not quit game and came back after doing the, the arms and whatnot. So, yeah, I did it the real way, so to speak. Anyways, gonna be warping to the Firelink Shrine, and from there on out, I will decide in the next episode where we are going to go from here. Thank you very much for watching. As usual, leave me your comment, feedback, likes, or dislikes in the comment section below. And uh, I will see you guys in the next one.